Hi, uh, this is Mr. Hardman again, uh, still bad with my cold. I want to go through a few problems with you. And the ones that I want you to look out for, uh, remember our goal is, I want you, we want you, all the math teachers at Adams, Mr. Seitz, Ms. D, all the teachers on math, we want you to attack the easy ones first. Now let's look at, look at number eight right here. It says in the equation above, A is a constant. If no value of X satisfies the equation, what is the value of A? That means we have any situation where the, it's, there's no possible answer. An example would be something like if you did an algebra problem that 3X plus 8 equals 3X plus 5. See, that is no answer because there's no number that you're going to work to put in here that's going to make, you know, that's going to come true on both sides. Because even if you put 0 for both X, 8's on this side, 5's on this side. And so no answer looks like when you have the same variables on, on different sides. If they're exactly the same, it's all solutions, but this is no, this says there's no value. So what we need to do is, or we're looking up here, we got this. So I'm going to distribute the three and distribute the five. So I got three X plus 15. And then I got five X minus five. So if I clean this up, remember like terms as eight X, 15 minus five is 10. So that side I get. That side, I get 8x plus 10, which means now I bring down this 2ax minus 15. Now, see what we're talking about right now? Negative 15 on this side, positive 10 on that side. So it's, we want it to be no answer. That means this thing right here needs to equal 8. Because if it's 8x, 8x, again, no answer. So 2 times something is 8. So it's got to be 4. So the answer is C, 4. No solution means you have the same variables on both sides, 8x, 8x. So now if 4 is there, then we're going to have 8x minus 15 equals 8x plus 10. No solution. But remember, now 2 times something is 8, so it's got to be 4. Now here's another one I want you This is another. I want you to look for these. This is another type of easy problem. Now this is a no calculator kind of problem. It says a system of three equations. System means more than one equation, more than one equation. System of three is graphed on the xy plane above. How many solutions does the system have? When you see this word solution, if you got three lines, it is telling you, or three segment, whatever, where are all three touching at the same time? Now, if you look just an example, if you look at that point right there, two of the this curved line and this line's touching it, but this line's not touching it. That point right there. Is the curved line and this line is touching, but this one's not. That's that's the only point right there. See how it's part of all three lines? There's our solution. There was only one on the answer. So if it's asking for the solution of a system, look to see where they all touch at the same time. If there's no place and there should be nothing, then it's no answer. Now here's another one I don't want to spend much time on. It says, which of the following represents all the possible values of X that satisfy the equation above? So I'm looking, you know, like Miss Rayburn always talks, zero is an easy number to check. If I put zero here and zero here, same zero, this fraction is going to equal zero because I don't care what's down here. Zero, so zero is going to be an answer. So that throws, it's either going to be A or B. Now, and then you just, you know, put, if I want to put two in, I got two over two minus three is negative one. On the other side, if I put two here, two times two is four. Four divided, I got two. I got negative two, positive two. That's not going to work. So that throws that out. So it's got to be this one. I just circle it. I just circle it and go ahead. But if you want to check, put four in here. So you got four over four minus three. And you got two times four over two. Four over, this is one. So four over one, that's four. Two times four is eight. Eight divided by two is four. So the correct answer is zero and four letter B. All right, now I'm going to finish up here. I just want to go through this one. <coughs> Story problems that look like this. Y equals MX plus B. That's what it looks like right there. I don't care what the letters look like. It says the equation above gives the amount of C in dollars. An electrician charges for a job, takes H hours. Miss Sanchez and Mr. Old each hired, blah, blah, blah. Now, the problem says the electrician worked two hours longer on Miss Sanchez's job than on Mr. Rollo's. How much more did the electrician charge? Just, just first thing you just know, 
that $125 is what the electric electrician charges to just to come out to your house. So that's what Miss Sanchez and Mr. Olin have to pay. That there's your rate. 75. So 75 bucks an hour. So really it's just two times 75. But if you don't, if that doesn't, if that's not cool with you, what you should do is just take the equation, put some numbers in. I'm going to put one in. If I put one hour in, so let's say he's at one hour at Mr. Ola's house, 75 times one is 75, 75 plus 125, 75 plus 125 is 200 bucks. Now, if he worked one hour at the Rolex, or she worked at one hour at, at, at Mr. Rolex's house, worked three hours at Miss Sanchez's house. So I take three times 75, which is 225, add the 125, that's 350. Again, look, there's a difference of 150 bucks. That's double this. So it says here, how much more did the electrician charge Miss Sanchez? Well, it's 150 bucks. Last one I want to just go through here. This is a proportion. I've gone through on the other videos. When I receive this, I think proportion. Put it over one. Cross multiply. Eight times one is eight. 160 divided by X. I'm sorry, 160 times X is 160X. We always divide by the number by the variable. So we divide by 160. Now, <laughs> excuse me. Eight divided by 160. See, that's going to be a real small number. It reduces to be one out of 20. You know, if you think money, 20 nickels equal a buck. But I'm going to tell you right now, that's a real small number. Look at all these other numbers. Just throw these out. It's got to be this one. So that ends my video today. You guys take care. God bless you guys, and good luck on the SAT. Bye-bye.